All right, the first thing to measure uh, for testing your Tesla coil is this uh, LC resonant circuit. So this is the primary coil and the primary capacitors. And this is 20 nanofarads, two 10 nanofarad capacitors in parallel, and a 7.4 microhenry inductor primary coil. And what we're doing is we've pretty much hooked the oscilloscope and the function generator uh, across the capacitor and, and inductor. And what we were measuring is a frequency response that looks like this. And this peak should be at uh, 460 kilohertz. All right. So essentially with the secondary of the Tesla coil out of the circuit, our circuit is more or less this. So we're, we've excluded all the neutral inductance in the secondary coil. So what we're looking at is the oscilloscope and the function generator. The oscilloscope is attached right here and the supply is representative of our function generator. And we're just doing a sweep across this parallel LC circuit. So that's sort of what the, the, uh, the Tesla coil circuit looks like right now. And this is the frequency response. Again, we're doing our sweep from 10 kilohertz to 2 megahertz. So now let's look at something interesting. We're going to insert our spacers for best coupling and we're going to insert the secondary coil. So we ran a simulation of this whole circuit network. So the mutual inductance and the distributed inductance and capacitance of the Tesla coil. And we got a frequency response that looks something like this. We see the main dip at 460 kilohertz, and we see a little secondary dip where the uh, secondary resonant frequency occurs. So let's put in our Tesla coil. I'm going to just lower down in here, and let's see what happens. And there we go. Almost perfect. We see that um, that dip that occurs at the resonant frequency of the coil, and we also ca capture that little secondary resonant frequency off at the uh, 990 kilohertz. And you can see that if we do something like change the coupling, pull these spacers out, we're changing these inductor values, the inductor values that link the primary circuit to the secondary circuit. So pulling them out, we should increase these values. And let's, let's see what happens. And see so we get a very distorted uh, frequency response the Tesla coil with increased coupling. All right, another thing you can do is have two little couplings. So this was the five stack of five discs we're using. I'm going to add even more here. So our coil is well elevated out of the field. And you can see we just have a very tiny dip. And we're shifting our resonant frequency up, upward beyond the peak of our 460 uh, kilohertz resonant frequency. So these inductive values do affect the resonant frequency of the overall system. So that's something to think about when you're tuning the Tesla coil. Again, so this is full coupling. All right. Or this is uh, li very little coupling, very high elevation out of that primary coil. I'm going to go to full coupling now so you can see the difference picking out all the discs. Tesla coils out of the circuit. Now I'm putting the Tesla coil into the circuit. That's over coupled. And now let's just do just right. There it is. The resonant frequency of the secondary is right in the peak of the response in the primary uh, circuit. So and that's so that's the optimal coupling right there. And you can see just how 
how closely this corresponds to the spice simulation. Alright, that's it for now.